Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. My name is Ruby, I live here in New York City, and this is my lifestyle channel. So, if you haven't subscribed already, please be sure to take a moment to do so. We are trying to reach 6K, that is the next goal here for this channel. I post new videos three times a week, so there's always new content to binge. And also be sure to go follow me on TikTok as well, because I post there daily. My puppy Dakota is actually laying like right here on the bed next to me, so if you see her little head pop up every once in a while, she's here just chilling. She's my little film guest. Recently, every time I've gone to film a video, she's like come and either sat right next to me or laid down right next to me, which is so sweet. I don't know why. Maybe she just like suddenly has like the camera bug or she just likes being next to her mom. But anyways, today I have a super exciting video that I promised you guys actually last month. I told you guys that I was going to be filming it and uploading it pretty soon into the new year. And so today that video is here. We are going to be doing a super old school, super classic YouTube video. We are doing a what's in my purse. I really wanted to do a what's in my bag featuring this amazing, amazing bag from Marc Jacobs right here. I bought this bag on Black Friday this past year and it has quickly just become one of my most beloved like pieces in my entire closet. I had been eyeing this bag for months and I finally just like bit the bullet, purchased it for myself in November and I've used it almost every single day since. So this is from Marc Jacobs like I said and this is the leather mini tote bag. Now I am obsessed with this bag for so many reasons. First of all, as far as price point, I love Marc Jacobs bags because while they are designer, I still feel like they're very, very reasonable price-wise. They're certainly an investment, but they're not going to run you thousands of dollars. I've always loved the look of the original tote bags from Marc Jacobs, but I just never felt like a canvas bag was really me. However, when they came out with the leather line of the tote bags, I was like, okay, I am sold. I adore this mini size because I feel like it's so chic, it's so classic, but you can literally take this with you anywhere all day, every day. It gives you the look of a tote without actually being the size of like a giant typical tote bag. It also comes with a cross body strap. Usually with this bag, I find that I use just the little like top handles because I feel like it's so much more just like, I don't know, like chic and classic. And I feel like such a boss when I'm using this bag. But I just, I love everything about it. To me, this is worth every penny. If I had like a bigger closet space here in my New York City apartment, I would probably buy this in a couple of colors. They have a beautiful brown and then an all red that I have definitely been eyeing. I don't know, maybe for my birthday this year, I'll get the all red. But I'm just obsessed with this. And like I said, even though it gives the look of a tote bag, but it's not the size of a tote bag, it can still hold so much. On the days that I'm vlogging, this obviously has plenty of room for my vlog camera. I can put my Kindle in here. Um, and also it just has room for like so many other things. So I feel like on days where I'm just gonna be out and about in the city for a long time or if I'm going from like a shifted solid core to doing other things, this is the bag that I bring with me because I can literally put so much in it and I still have plenty of room. The leather on this is gorgeous. I love the gold hardware. There literally isn't a thing that I don't love about this bag. I just love how simple it is, but I also love the detailing on the front, how it says the tote bag, Marc Jacobs. I just feel like it gives it a little bit of an edge, something different. I really cannot like recommend this bag enough. It is so freaking cute. Love that it's not a super structured tote bag. Like it definitely has quite a bit of structure and it's held its shape really well. But I love that the sides of the bag are intentionally supposed to like go out a little bit. I don't know. I just feel like not only does it give you a little bit more room in the bag itself, but it's just something different. It's like a different kind of look versus just like your very typical like little square tote bag. I don't know. I feel like it just gives it something different. But yeah, that's it on the bag itself. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Like I said, like I cannot recommend this enough. I'm so glad that I finally purchased this. I wish I would have done it sooner. I just wanted to make sure that it was something that I was truly going to use all the time. Not necessarily every single day because I do have quite a few handbags but definitely like the majority of the time and it was just worth every single penny like look how beautiful she is anyways now let's get into the actual content of the bag itself I really like this bag again because I feel like most tote bags or tote looking bags don't have a zipper on top whereas this one does so everything is nice and secure and when you open up the bag there's like the main compartment of the purse and then there's also just a little pocket here on the side I don't know if you can see that yeah there it is so so I guess we'll start with the little pocket first because I don't have much in here. So the first thing that I would typically keep in this pocket are my apartment keys, which obviously I don't have in there right now because I'm in my apartment, so they're sitting 
on my kitchen table. But after that, I just have like a couple little like smaller beauty things in this first pocket. I have a band-aid because I feel like you just never know. I should probably put a couple more of these in my purse. I think I used to have quite a few more, but I gave them to like friends and coworkers. I feel like everybody always needs a band-aid, but nobody has one, so I got you. For the first time ever, I have been dealing with super dry cuticles. It's probably the fact that we're washing our hands constantly, sanitizing constantly, but also it has been freezing here in the city. So recently I was on TikTok and somebody recommended just using the plain old like Aquaphor healing ointment for your cuticles. And this has seriously been helping me so much. So I went to CVS and I got just like a mini size that way it's super purse friendly. It's convenient for me to carry around. It's easy for me to remember to like reapply throughout the day. I'm also just gonna put some on right now. Like anytime that I'm like sitting at solid core during my shift or if I'm just like out and about at a like a cafe or something, I'll literally be like, Ruby, it's time to moisturize your cuticles and then I'll just take out my Aquaphor and do that. You guys know I always have to have a perfume on me and so I actually have a perfume oil currently in my bag. This is from the brand Blossom. I love their perfume oils. They actually used to be sold at Urban Outfitters which is how I heard about them but then I recently bought this, I think it's CVS. Their perfume oils are all natural and they're actually infused with real flowers. Hopefully you can see that. This is their Honey Jasmine scent so it's super light. It's like very refreshing. I feel like it's mostly a spring and summertime scent but you you know what like we're just gonna wear it anyways now in the winter oh it's just so good I also love it because it's not like super overwhelming or overpowering um, and so when I apply it I feel like I'm not gonna bother those around me it smells so good it literally just smells like honey jasmine like it's floral it's sweet but it's not too much okay and then you guys know me I always have to have a couple different like lip products in my bag typically right now because obviously we're still in the middle of a pandemic and we're wearing masks I stick to more like lip balms tinted lip treatments, kind of like low maintenance, low fuss things that aren't really gonna transfer onto my mask. And that are also going to help give me just a little bit more hydration because again, I feel like being in a mask all day, I don't mind it. I'm all here for protecting everybody. But it definitely does kind of like dehydrate your lips. I don't know if I'm the only person who's found that. So we are all about hydration here. So I have a standard Burt's Bees lip balm. This is in the Cucumber Mint scent. I love Cucumber Mint, Cucumber Melon. That used to be one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. It's just super fresh and I don't know. I love the original Burt's Bees too, but recently when I was at CVS, I was like, you know what the cucumber mint sounds like really good and then I have two different like actually tinted lip balms tinted lip colors the first of which is the Clinique almost lipstick in the color pink honey I know that you guys have heard about black honey it's literally been everywhere and I got this gift set over the holidays that came with black honey and pink honey and I've really been enjoying this color I feel like it's just a little bit brighter obviously than black honey it brings a lot of like brightness to the face there's what it looks like as you can tell I've definitely worn it quite a bit but yeah I've really been enjoying this super hydrating it lasts a decent amount of time and then you guys know I am absolutely obsessed with my Dior lip products the lip oil the lip maximizer and of course the lip glow tinted lip balms so I have one of those in my bag this is in the color 004 coral first of all again the packaging like I just I'm obsessed with it again also like I love the smell of the Dior lip products it's like vanilla with also a little bit of mint in it too which is so good and then the color itself is this really pretty sheer coral so again as we slowly transition out of winter into the spring I know that it's not spring yet but we've had a lot of sunny days I just wanted to wear something with like a little bit of like a kiss of a brighter color not a full-on neon just like a whisper a kiss of a brighter color so I really like this because again it has that coral tint but it's not crazy you know what I'm gonna apply a little bit now currently I have the new makeup by Mario plumping lip Serum lip balm. No, I think it's plumping lip serum. Yeah, they just came out. I'm obsessed with them But you know, what? I'm gonna put a little bit of this on see it like definitely changes my lip color a little bit But it's not anything super crazy, which is just like why I love these Okay, so that's everything that I have in that little pocket now Everything else is in the main like compartment of the purse typically I would have my phone in here currently It's charging because obviously like I'm not out and about but I would have my phone in here speaking of my phone though I do have a couple tech things in here the first of which is my portable charger and then a little charging cable I have had this portable charger literally for years and it still works so well I got it off of Amazon it's so small but it holds such a good charge it charges my iPhone 12 Pro Max like a full charge and a half which for me is really great being in New York City I'm constantly on the go there's not a lot of places to like actually sit in and like plug in your phone so I think a portable charger is a must and obviously you have to have a charging cable with that I also have my AirPod Pros in here I listen to music podcasts 
what else do I listen to? YouTube videos, Netflix. Anytime I'm like commuting or walking down the street, I always have these in my ears. I'm always listening to something. Also working for myself full time, I take a lot of like phone calls when I'm running errands and out and about in the city. So just having good like headphones is a must. Or not even headphones, having good like earbuds is a must. I love my AirPod Pros. They are literally everything. The sound quality is stellar. I cannot recommend them enough. And then the case that I have on it is from Amazon. It's just like a super cheap little like silicone case but I've had it for like a year and a half and it's definitely held up super well. I have some hand sanitizer because, I mean, I never go anywhere without hand sanitizer, but especially during these pandemic times, you cannot be messing around and not have any sanitizer. That's irresponsible to be walking around without hand sanitizer and I, for one, do not want to be irresponsible. Anyways, I just have this hand sanitizer from Lululemon. I recently went into Lulu to get a pair of leggings altered because um, they do free alterations and I saw that their hand sanitizer was on sale and so I was like, you know what? Why not? I like it. I honestly like don't love the smell of it, but it's not super drying on my hands, so I'll take it. Okay, so up next in my bag, I have a protein bar. This is not just any protein bar. This is a Built Bar. I was recently influenced a couple of months ago to go on Built Bar's website and purchase a couple different flavors. I heard so many people talking about them and how they're like the best tasting protein bars. I was like, okay, is that like really true? Turns out it is. These are literally the best tasting protein bars I've ever had in my life. I've tried like five of the flavors now and I am just completely hooked. This is the cookies and cream flavor. I love these because they actually have a ton of protein in them. It's 17 grams of protein, only 130 calories. I just feel like these are some of the best protein bars out there on the market. At least that's what I found. The point is though, always have a nutritious snack on you. I would really recommend Bolt Bars if you haven't tried them already. I do have an affiliate code with them. I think it gets you like 10% off of your purchase. I'll link it down below, but either way, these are like, these are so tasty. I might eat this right after this video. I have my wallet in here. You guys know, again, I've had this for quite a few years. It's one of my favorite items. I bought this while I was still working at Barney's and this was the first um, designer purchase that I had ever really bought myself. It's this beautiful YSL um, little wallet. I am obsessed with this. Um, to this day, I just, I still love it so much. I love YSL. They're one of my favorite designers. So chic, so classic. And in here, I just have like all my credit cards, my debit card, my health insurance card, because that's important. My ID. What else do I have in here? My actor's equity card. So yeah, obviously always have to have that handy. And even though, you know, I have Apple Pay on my phone and I feel like everything's going digital, I always like just having my physical cards on me at all times. I don't know if I'm weird like that. Just let me know if I'm the only one, especially because I feel like most places in New York do have Apple Pay, but then occasionally you run into a spot that just like doesn't. So it's always very good to keep your physical cards on you and that way they don't get misplaced, you don't lose them, you don't like forget where they are. Okay, lastly, but certainly not least, I have three kind of like larger beauty products products that I keep in my bag. I mentioned dry skin during the winter due to washing and sanitizing our hands so frequently and so obviously having a great hand lotion is a must for me. This is my favorite hand lotion of all time. I don't think I'll ever use another one, especially like I've been through so many tubes of this. This is the Necessaire hand cream. I love this stuff because it's not scented so it's not going to mess with like whatever perfume you have on that day. But also this melts into the skin and it does not leave a greasy residue. It doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel waxy. It is just like the most perfect hand lotion. I know it's a little bit more expensive than your typical hand lotion, but to me it is totally worth it. I cannot stand when my hands feel just like greasy and slippery afterwards. And after using hand lotion, it's like residue when I try and like touch my phone or touch other things. Big, big stand for this hand lotion if you couldn't tell. Okay, and then finally I have two products in my bag specifically for treating and making sure that I don't deal with mask knee. Being that we are still in a pandemic, I'm obviously wearing a mask anytime that I'm not at home and so that can cause your skin to definitely freak out a little bit and if you don't take care of it that's when mask knee is going to appear and I feel like because here in New York City you walk everywhere it can get very sweaty like underneath your mask I've talked about these two products on TikTok before so if you follow me there you know how much I love these but these are both from Hero Cosmetics and these were specifically formulated to combat mask knee and balance out like the pH level of your skin. And so I keep both of these in my bag and let me tell you guys, these have made such a difference. Okay, so this is the Force Shield Super Fuel Serum Stick and then this is the Force Shield Supercharged Reset Mist. 
So I use these a couple times throughout the day. Anytime I feel like my skin just needs to pick me up or it's feeling sweaty or it's feeling dry underneath my mask, because sometimes that can happen too. I also use this before and after I'm working out in a mask, again, just to prevent any sort of breakouts from happening. So how I use both these products is first, I take the spray and I'll spray the inside of my mask, also any area of my face where the mask is going to sit. I let it dry for like 10 seconds and then I go in with the serum stick and I'll apply that all over my face, obviously not like on the inside of my mask. The spray is easy to use on the inside of your mask because like it's so like quick and it's not messy. This would be a little bit more complicated, but also Hero Cosmetics doesn't recommend that. I love this serum stick because it literally looks like a little deodorant. It's so cooling though and so hydrating on the skin. If I didn't have any makeup on right now, I would show you how I apply it. The scent is like super fresh and super clean as is the, um, the spray as well. And yeah, I just love these products. Again, not an ad. I know that they're a little bit bigger in size. They don't have anything smaller than this but I still feel like this is travel friendly and purse friendly so I don't mind it taking up space especially when I know that these products work and they're super beneficial for my skin so yeah if you've been dealing with mask me or you just want to prevent it I can't recommend these enough it's drugstore prices but the quality is insane but with that you guys concludes everything that I have in my bag everything that I keep with me in my Marc Jacobs leather mini tote I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video I love a good what's in my purse what's in my bag video I find myself always going back to watch them and they give me such nostalgic just OG YouTube vibes. I really hope that you all did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and again, click that subscribe button down below. We're trying to reach 6k. That is the next goal here on this channel. Be sure to follow me on all of my other social media networks, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Clubhouse. Check out my Amazon shop. I'm always updating my Amazon shop with products that I love and things that I've actually purchased myself. I love you all so much. I hope that you guys are staying safe, happy, and healthy and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon in my next video. Okay? Bye everybody.